All right, guys. Hello. Welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. We're exploring the depths of the cave today that we found last time. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic one. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, again, uh, uh, we uh, we stream as well as record over videos. So if you're more of the person to, or more of the kind of person who enjoys watching live content or wants to hang out with us, we'd love to have you on those. We stream pretty much every night at 6:30 uh, Eastern time, as well as in the afternoons on Saturdays. So we'd love to see you there if you're able to make it. But um, anyway, but, but, but if, if you're here for, for for uploaded stuff, then I'll stop going on about other stuff. Uh, you, I guess. A little fail safe for throwing the lava. Lava blob. Lava blobs. Many lava blobs. So basically, uh, the, 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 the overall level of lava has, has, has dropped, and we're now able to explore all these areas down here that were previously inaccessible to us. So I'm kind of excited to see what we might find. Uh, lava. Sure, I'm glad we just kind of reset instead of just burning and dying, you know? Bracer plus four. That's a nice find, actually. More dragon up. Whoa, that's new. <gasps> He's a big clunky dragon. I guess he uh, must be what? Wait, no, I thought the dragon ups evolved into that blue thing. The 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 Dracozool that like whooped me. That totally kicked kick, kick my can back into the place. What are you, buddy? Draconov, Draco Grand. Yeah. Oh, he resists fire and air, but is weak to, to physical. Huh. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for me because. That physical and uh, bleed is good, so yeah. Didn't take the damage from it though, did it? The pile on, the shield going. We'll use some uh, bubbles. Bubbles! Because yeah, the, uh, the 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 yellow one will be a light shifted Draconov, which means it'll be stronger than the regular one too. Miracle. I was hoping it wouldn't get a chance to do that. That's a lot of buffs. Phalanx. That's a lot more buffs. That's the same move that the Dracon, uh, Dra Dracozool has. I can tell because, ow! Uh, it hurts so badly. Man, it does not want to stack chill on those other guys at all. It's like, what's that? Chill? Meh. Nah. One stack. We need to start encapsulating. I definitely gotta get my, my, my team overhauled. I haven't done it yet. I keep meaning to. I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Um, cause like, my, my... Ow. My uh, Elder Gel, while helpful, is not quite as strong as I wish it was. Owie. Let's use Aqua Blast instead. It's a bit more directed. There we go. Chill Chill Stacks, much better. Three on him now total. That's good. Hopefully that'll be enough to drop him. As long as the fight goes, the tougher the Elder Joe gets the kill, which is nice, so we'll say that much. He's much tankier than most other guys are. Alright, Alpha Blast. Nice spears. Full burst? Nah, won't have been, won't even do anything. Just keep the healing up then. Fire claws. Nice dodge. Alright, and hopefully this will be enough to put him down, and hopefully we'll get an egg out of this, or maybe an item to. Uh, that's right, no, it wouldn't be an egg, would it? Because you need to have the Draconov egg, and I guess you need to evolve the Draconov. Smoke oh, um. bomb. I don't think Smoke Bomb is what you need to make him evolve. Alright, we'll add that to our mystery pile then. Over here we have... Wait. Loot. Azure Gem. This seems to be a mount run thing, so let me grab my Kirin. Another Salahammer, Lava Blob, and Draconov combo plate. That's cool. This way is... Loot, Crimson Gem, shortcut from the other area we were in before, that's good. Start bridging all these gaps we have lying around the place. Hello. Need a Salahammer to smash that. Two Silvers, nice. 
So we connects to... Yep. There we go. All of our shortcuts have now been established. We can get in here much easier now from the uh, regular level. I'm going to fight you guys, aren't I? You're kind of in the way. Well, maybe not. Hang on. Nope. Nope. I do. I do. All right. Fine. All right. Fine. 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 You all wake to water and or um, physical anyway, so it's not like it's too bad to do. We'll see that the, like, the, 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 the gel does have pretty decent overall just raw damage. It's just kind of a shame it doesn't also stack any kind of a, a debuff while it's doing it. I can jail. All that buffing they got. Uh oh, cold toss. <laughs> Remember that one. Aqua Blast. We're getting there. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is kind of what I was saying earlier about, um, was it earlier or was it last episode, depending, because this is all one recording session, so I was saying how, um, sometimes you want to just, you know, fight monsters who are stronger so you can level up and, like, you know, you need to find a whole new area, uh, with, with fresh monsters to do that, and here we are, so, got my, 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 my tag partners, I guess, not tag, sorry, my, my, uh, sparring partners. Oh, it's the same the same move that uh, the gel does. That's cool. How tanky is this thing? Pretty tanky, by the by, by looks of it. Jeez. Four stars. Light shooted cell hammer egg. Cool. Uh, quickly grab. Man upkeep is good. I do like man upkeep. I kind of want to grab revive, actually. Be useful. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Higher power water affinity. Oh, I guess having a stronger aqua blast might help too. I just didn't realize I I didn't realize I'd been sh uh, shunning that one. Just focus on the on the active party for now. Hello. Magma chamber key required. Is that, all right. Where would that be? Off the right there, probably. Yeah. Okay. Back this way we go. What horrible beast must I slay in order to get my hands on that? I wonder. Probably a champion fight or more 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 of these dudes. That works too. Hello. I was hoping to fight you some more. I wanted a chance to. Actually, there's the box right there. I can see it. And off, off, off to the side there. That's totally it. Okay. Right. We should win this all right. My, my one concern is whether or not we get the item we need to to, to, to evolve uh, the Drakenov or not out of them, but we'll see. I gotta say, I'm kind of imagining having a team of these things now. If, like, if there's. Ooh, there's my Mori. Well, there's my odds of, of winning, too, I think. Um, well, not winning, sorry, I'm getting the, the, the item I want. Um, but I, I'm kind of imagining having, like, 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 like a party of these dudes now, because it seems like the Draco Zul is probably one of their evolved forms. Unless, like, this guy is, too. Like, like, they're different elements, though. Like, 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 one is fire, one is ice, I guess. So, if that's the case, we could have, like, a team of these things. One of each, and then have, have, have the Draco knob in the middle. Be cool. Alright, and this should probably take care of it with a little bit of help from the debuffs. There we go. Three stars. Firestone. That's gotta be it. Cool. Alright, so next time around you, you, you guys see me, I'll, I'll, I'll have a much bigger, scarier dragon.
Hopefully, anyway. Reptiles. Uh, 7.5% chance to apply poison or burn. Well, he already has burn. He already has poison, but it's more poison and more burn, so why the heck not? Ooh. Because defense focus is actually a thing, too, eh? Ooh, it's pretty good. This defense right now is 248 with this. Yeah, actually, not, not that much, actually. But then again, I've not got him really, like, he, he's only got, like, a little bit of defense on him. So, well, he's got some from these guys. Is it, how much more is it? 25%? Yeah, so... Huh, surprised, I'm surprised that, that, that that's, all, that's all that it went up then. Chamber key. This must connect to the other one up there, the one that's currently... No, 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 the, 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 the non-area is down there. That one over there. So maybe we'll come around to that one after all then. Alright, hang on, let's go see. I, I, I do like how you can come back to these areas after a while once you have new like 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 movement abilities and and have them uh, open up open up in, in a whole new way like you'll you'll totally have the whole place settled and, and explored and then all of a sudden it's like boom and there's like this whole other area you can go through hello R raises rises hey who's that over there you're a cult, uh, an, an alchemist, aren't you? Yeah. It's another one of the alchemists. That's right, Keeper. I am Razes of the Ancient Order of Alchemists. And who are you to just stumble onto my laboratory and disturb my work? Surrender, alchemist, if it's a fight you want. You wouldn't be the first of your order who loses to us. A fight? Hmm, that's all you Keepers know, isn't it? Uh, that's what this world has come to. Our order arose with, with the very first civilized society of humankind. It was us who first discovered the principles of nature, and then we learned to bend them to our will. Empires rose and fell according to our whims. Your order, Keeper, might have a noble goal, but it's truly insignificant in the face of the millennia of alchemy. I will fight for our order no matter the, the opposition, so I challenge you to a duel. However, you should know this. The outcome of our duel won't influence the inevitable triumph of alchemy. So he says. Blob, Moth, Kongamoto, Steam Golem, Mad Eye. He has he he has he has, he has some as well. There's the cool, the cool music though. Cool. Um, weak to water, weak to water, weak to earth, earth, wind, and magic. All right, well, it's not so bad. Let's go for the power start, I guess. I'm not loving. Everything about this, because he's got the, the the mad eye in the back, which doesn't go down to <coughs> physical attacks. Um, do this, because spell shield is nice. I'm gonna, 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 gonna. I guess this buffing should be fine to start with. I guess I don't want to get get myself killed though, but. Gonna put on agility and restore restoration. He's gonna choose weakness on me. Oh, he shreds debuffs. Great, or, or shred shreds buffs. That wasn't so bad. We still have most of our buffs too, so I'll take it. Okay, get some chill and shock. Target the, the blob first, then the bird. The mad eye's gotta go too, but I'll figure out when to do that in a minute. Because, like, healing is more important than damage you at the moment. Owies. Because, yeah, my, it would take Dan, like, like, Dende's the best suited to, to, to attack the Mad Eye, but he's busy keeping the rest of us from dying, so. You can wait a minute. Knock you down. And the golem has arrived, which means shields for everybody and sundry. Magma Moth is pretty dangerous as well. Roll 
want to get rid of that. Or maybe we're gonna die to it. That works too. Sure. Dodge apparently. There we go. So the debuffs will take it down. Gotta work on the steam golem next before he totally shields up to infinity. To air. Um, Alright, well, we can work, work with that in a minute. There we go, get some shock on there. Isamori as well as we to Earth, as I recall. Alright. So you're going to take care of the Mad Eye. Help take care of your evil doppelganger. You're gonna throw down your lightning bolt this guy. Actually, no, maybe I better wait because that's not nearly enough damage. Alright, we'll help him first. We'll, we'll, we'll take the golem last. He's the tankiest, but he doesn't do much, that much damage comparatively. We'll take the golem last. Trouble. Mori down, and just us and the shield. Uh, so that's the steam golem. There's five stacks of poison. That's a lot of poison. Jeez Louise. Then, lightning bolt! Phew! Robots level 2. Dots. He's like, what? I lost! <laughs> you may be strong, but it doesn't matter. You can't stop the progress of the Order of Alchemists. It's impossible. I think we can. So to defeat all of you and stop you from taking over the Sanctuary, right? We already know about your leader. His name is Marduk, isn't it? You know nothing. Marduk is no normal man. It was he who kept the Order alive for the last couple of centuries. It was he who recruited me along with other young Keepers. Some of us chose to follow him simply for the promise of power. I, on the other hand, became enamored with the wondrous world of alchemy. Fighting against our order and Marduk means fighting against alchemy and all that it could ever provide for our world. Doesn't have to be that way, Razus. Even though the alchemists snuck into the sanctuary uninvited, they were, they, they were allowed to stay here. Because the sanctuary is a home for all those who don't have a place in the old world, be they monsters or humans. There doesn't have to be a war between keepers and alchemists, or between the sanctuary and the old world. There's enough space for everyone here. As a special familiar of the sanctuary, I promise you that. It's like, yeah, you know, it's, you know, you, you, you don't have to be this way. Come on, man. Maybe you're right. 
Maybe we can avoid a war. That would mean that you would have to find and stop Marduk, though. I will tell you what I know if you promise me that I may continue practicing alchemy. Of course, in exchange, I'll promise that I will cease helping my fellow alchemists who side with Marduk. Huh. Interesting. If you keep that promise, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be allowed to, shouldn't be allowed to continue practicing your craft. It's a deal, then. Oh. Alchemist turncoat. Interesting. Hey, watch out. It's another alchemist. Don't worry, Will. He's not like the other ones. He will help us stop Marduk. To keep alchemy alive in the sanctuary, yes. I'd like to teach others what I know, too. Oh, interesting. From what I read, alchemy should be a great addition to our sanctuary. You're the keeper who lost his familiar, aren't you? I apologize for that. It was my elixir that allowed uh, chimes to take, your, to take your familiar. As you know, the familiars are each bound to different bloodlines. My elixir allows the one who drinks it to mask their own bloodline, disguising it as another's. I'm afraid the other alchemists still have a couple flasks of my elixir left. The actual theft of monsters is tied to keeper duels. To revert the theft of your familiar, Chimes needs to be defeated in, in, in another duel. That's all it takes. Well, that's good to know. Thank you for that, at least. But why is your owner trying to steal Spectre Familiars anyway? I know that Marduk needs all of the Spectre Familiars. It's one of the most important parts of his plan. However, he's very secretive. He never lets any of us know more than we need to know. I also can't tell you where Marduk is hiding at this moment. It's been decades since I last spoke to him personally. Well, that's an interesting way of running an organization. We believe that we need to find the Sanctuary Tokens. Can you help us with that? I know there's one in, in, one in this magma chamber. It's in one of the lower rooms. The token is guarded by a fierce protector. A proud warrior monster w w with a demon's ferocity. I've watched it for some time, so I know it seeks nothing more than a fight against monsters that, 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 that can defeat it in combat. Oh, one of us ha ha has to be the one who, who uh, has to be the one whose monsters can, can best the guardian. I'll, I'll have a quick rest here, but you can go on. And, you can go on ahead already, Matt. Cool. Uh, anything else you want to do there, dude? No, same thing. Okay. So cool. I, I wasn't expecting to have uh, have one of the alchemists turn. That's kind of neat, actually. Some intrigue for the for the for the story. I like it. Uh, skill points. Yeah, that. Um, healing is good. Heal. Should be fine. So what is this this creature anyway? What we got? Drakonov, Drakogran, Glow Dragon, more lava. Oh, it's not like, like like right here, is it? It's like somewhere else. Okay. I like this area though. It kind of reminds me of uh, Magmore Cavern caverns from from. Uh, is there stuff down there? No, it's just, just the floor. Magmore Caverns from Metroid Prime, which is of course a game that I love. So, hello. Oh, oh. Aha! Yeah, you guys are here too. Some nice sweet loot. Two steel. Looks like, like, a, like a, a movement puzzle up here. Hang on. I think. Yeah. Better mount your horses. What the? Oh, I see. I need I need to put put, put a rock down. I guess because I can't. Okay. Um. How am I gonna? Huh? You can't. You can't uh, get across it without uh, with a, without a mount, and you can't. Put, okay. Um. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> I had to think on my feet there. Omni ring. Health 60, mana 15, crit chance 2%, crit damage 5%, mana regen 5. Cool. Alright. Neat little trinket we found there. There's a lower area here, too. Is this where we need to go for this champion? Hmm. Upper road, lower road. Area not included yet. Okay, fair enough. Lob lobs, Drakograns. Where we were. Oh no. 
Ride! Two leather. Wrong one. You. Ah, <laughs> lava! This is dangerous here, man. Two silver. Rawhide. Rawhide. It's just, it's just, it's just cool doing that. Uh, try that again, shall we? Dragons! Ah! Dragons! So, I don't really need to fight these guys anymore, do I? Considering I've already got their, their, their item, but... That is a lot of bleeding, sir. Well, we, I, 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 we wouldn't recording for but half an hour. Ugh. All right, well, I'm gonna try and power ahead to find this 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 this, this monster before it gets too much longer because I'm trying to keep these episodes to 30 minutes or less if I can. So we might go a little bit extra uh, on this one, you guys. Christmas these guys hurt, don't they? I wish you just sort of change monsters, honestly. Like, I, I, I'm always forgetting that I, I, I can just do this. I can just change whatever I want to. Always forgetting that. Heat Shimmer. Alright. Ice Spear Volley. More blade, more chill, hopefully. No, no chill. No, fine. More chill, hopefully. A little bit, yeah. There we go. That's better. Now we're talking. I sure would like to know how these things take so little damage from my attacks. Like, I know they're the same level as me, just about, and all that, and they're tough, but like. They seem to just shrug it off real easy a lot of the time. I guess, I guess defense four, health is like, yes, not 9,000 health. Well, that would be why then, eh? Jeez Louise. It's not that I'm not damaging them, it's just they have so much health you can't tell. I guess that makes sense. Christmas. Shuriken 4, Strawberry, Silk, nice. It's pretty worth it, actually. Hello. This way we go up to where we were before, I think. I do like, too, how the general, like, architecture looks somewhat like... One, do, do, do I have a, a 1 plus 4? No. Staff? Oh, you're empty. Why are you empty? Well, here. Um, but no, the, the, the uh, general architecture looks a lot like Bracer. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Uh, looks a lot like the uh, the uh, the dungeon and like in like previous areas. So it, it really gives the feeling that like one one general person or, or people, I guess, made this 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 the, the, these areas. You know what I mean? Like like it gives them a certain continuity, which is quite nice. I wonder why he's doing so little damage. That that would be why. There we go. Another one of those places connected. Ah, fire. Lava. Ah, hot. Hot foot, hot foot, hot foot, hot foot. Oh, come on. There's Will. Hey, there you are, Madamont. Didn't he rest? I did hear first. Jeez, you're fast. You just missed, you just, just missed my fight against the champion monster. I thought, most, I thought my, my team was strong enough, but I tried my best, but I still lost. After the fight, the champion monster just let me go as, as if it wanted, wanted my monsters to, to get stronger and try again another day. I'm not sure what 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 could have done better. It must be something. I realize something though, you know. Losing makes you want to stop trying, but if you stop trying, you, then then you'll never win. So 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 I'll train my monsters, get more experience, and try fighting. 
other champion monsters. You see, I want to hunt some champions on my own instead of just watching you do it. I know you'll beat this one anyway. So have fun and goodbye, Metamon. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. I'm glad he's learned something from this, you know? This is true, you know? You, you, you get knocked down, you gotta get up again. Dude, you have six arms? That's metal. That's like those, um... What are they called? Um... Ashuras, I think it is. In, I think, Hindu? I think it's Hindu mythology? Yeah. Asura, yeah. Sweet, okay. Well, as they say, challenge accepted. Alright, spooky dude, let's do this. I don't know what you've got, but you kind of freaked me out, so... I'll come at you quite seriously, I think, because otherwise I will probably die. Bleed, chill, some poison. Good start for us. Four stacks of chill? Yes, please. I love the, the I love the animation, the punching, that's cool. Oh he has lava rush! It's the same thing I got, but like, you know, lava. Cool. Also scary, but cool. Let's throw on our might. Get some healing in there, I think. Would be good too, so we don't die. More ice spears. I love how much damage my debuffs do. Like this, this is this, this, this is this is why I love this party. Like these three together are are, are probably like, well, I guess full offense and full defense. But he just has all the buffs now, doesn't he? That's kind of scary, actually. If you could be a little less terrifying, I'd appreciate it. Um, but no, this 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 particular team combo may not be perfect, but it does give me a lot of things I like all all, all in one package, which is quite nice. We've got, uh, you know, Poison Stack, we've got Chill Stack, we've got Congeal, we've got Healing, we've got, you know, a lot of, just a lot of, good, a lot of good things. And the longer the fight goes, the stronger it is, the, the stronger we get, because the Amori is always getting new buffs whenever he gets uh, super effective damage going. And, he can stack, and then they stack Bleed, and the Bleed doesn't go away, and this happens, so... Five stars, look at that. Asura Egg. Yeah, a lot of new things I, I, I need to hatch to check out, actually, at this point. Quite a few. Maybe we'll next, perhaps we'll make the next episode a, a hatching episode. We can check out all, all, all these new critters we've, we've, we've been getting that I haven't looked at yet. Um, fire is good. May it cost 220 to cast this spell one time. That's terrifying. Jeez Louise. 20, 240, 242. Why is it so much more? Jeez Louise. And then here we have Sanctuary Token. Great! We found another one of the Sanctuary Tokens. I think we have all the Sanctuary Tokens we need now. The Oracle said that the tokens will open the path to the deepest area of the Sanctuary. Sounds spooky, doesn't it? There's a strange door at the deepest point of the Blue Caves. That must be it. Let's go there. Mm, okay, so... We found the way, the way to the, what was it, the workshop last, uh, uh, uh earlier, but it kind of seems like the plot wants me to go to this door first and then go there after. I don't think it especially matters, like, we can do either one first, but I imagine the plot, we, we, we may as well follow the plot, because I've been kind of ignoring it for long enough as it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I will do that. What's that over there, though? Actually, hang on, there's still one spot I haven't looked at. It goes up. How I don't know yet, but it goes up. Probably, probably via Kongamoto, but we'll see. Because there's one, there's this spot here that, that that isn't in the game yet, and then there's this over here. See, there's a through, but then there's also an up. Silver. Oh, I just connects it here. Cool. Okay. Well, fair enough. See, that brings us out right next to the tour to to the teleporter anyway. So that works out pretty well for us, actually. So in that case, we will go back to. Uh, I, th I, th I think next episode we'll do a hatching thing, 
just to go through all these new eggs we've got that I haven't uh, checked out before. And then after that, we will go over to the Blue Caves to find this new area and see, see what's up. See you guys real soon. Thanks so much for thanks so much for being here and checking out the episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, the plot and and, and 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 the fight against the Asura, who is very cool. Um, and I'll see all you guys real soon. Take care of yourselves because you're worth it. I'll, and uh, for now, bye bye.